I am free. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I am free. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. I am free. For the blood of the Lamb is my uncle. I am free. Free at last. Free at last. I am free. I am free. The blood of the Lamb is my uncle. I am free. Jesus is my Joe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am free. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am free. Jesus, for the blood of the Lamb. Holy Abasuke Barabara Dodo Boshin de 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 Barabara da de da ya ma 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 ma. I am free. God bless you, Jenny. I am free. Oh, the blood of the Lamb. Boshika Beli Maturo Boshika ya ma ma. Brakeni, God bless you. I am free. I am free. I am free. Freedom is coming on your way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am free. God bless you, Brad Collins. Sister Manuela. I am free. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I am free. For the blood of the Lamb is my uncle. Jesus is my treasure. He is my every sin I know. Oh, I am free, I am free, I am free. Jesus is my soul. Jesus is my peace. Treasure of me. Crucify for my peace. Treasure of heaven, crucify for my joy. Treasure of heaven, glory be to your name. For the blood I you shot has brought me joy. Seka mama de liba toro bo si badi andereke bababaya. Touch me, oh, he touch me, and all the joy that flow in my soul. Some say happened, and all I know can they kabako to robo si baba de li andaya. He touch me. And he made me. Oh, he's a treasure of my soul. Treasure of my soul. His name is Jesus. He's a treasure of my soul. He's a treasure of my heart. He's a meaning of my joy. Yes, my joy. His name is Jesus. He's the reason why I see Jesus. He's the reason of my life. He's the reason of my life. His name is Jesus. Name above all names. Jesus. Treasure of every Jesus, He's my living waters. Jesus, He's my lily of the 
of only Jesus. He is my brother of life. His name is Jesus. It's all that I know, Jesus. He's a fragrant rose, Jesus. He's the lion of Judah, Jesus. He is my brother, morning sun, Jesus. My everything that I need, Jesus. He's the savior of my soul, Jesus. The joy of my life. You are the meaning of my life. You are the lily of the valley. You are the song that I sing. You are the words of my music. You are my melody. You are my streams. You are my chords. You are my harmony. You are my harmony. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are my everything, Lord, you are everything to me, Lord, you are everything, yes, you are everything, Lord, you are, I find Jesus, I find everything, Lord, you are everything to me, you are my treasure, you are my priority, who can compass with you? Great is the measure, your priority in all my life. You are my everything. Everything, yes, you are. Everything, Lord, you are. Everything to me. Yes, you are, Lord, you are. Everything to me, yes, you are, Lord, you are, everything to me, sing with me, Lord, you are more precious than Cantorobo Shikaya, <clears throat> than silver. Lord, you are most condor of Shikaya, more costly than gold. Lord, you are more beautiful than diamond. Nothing I desire compares with you. Are you struggling to throw away your jewelries? Are you struggling to throw away your sin? Are you struggling to give up a particular sin? Nothing I desire. Is he truly? Do you know how to sing that song? Begin to reflect on this song. What my soul desire is not money here on earth. What my soul desire is not a treasure of this world. What my soul desire is having. Therefore giving up. Throwing away those things are not important to me at all. That's it. Oh yes, Brad Gabriel, I use money to buy it. I believe that, darling. I know. It cost you so much. It was your sweat. Yes, I know. I know how I suffer for money. Therefore, I don't want to throw my money away. But you didn't know you threw it away already. You lost it. You lost it. The day you bought that particular thing, you lost it. Nothing I desire. Sister Jesus said, throw them away and come and follow him. Nothing I desire. You are my desire. Nothing I desire compares with you. Sing with me. Lord, you, are, you find it very difficult to give up. Sister, you find it very difficult to give up worldly things. It is very hard. Oh, Bragi Bra is very hard. I can't stop makeup. Lord Jesus, you are more beautiful. You are radiant is more beautiful to me than every painting. Oh, your voice so very great to me than everything that you are you desiring heaven? Are you desiring my savior? He's a treasure of heaven. 
treasure of every nothing I desire compares with you. What is your desire? What are you desiring? Nothing I desire. Konderi bosi kayaba. Nothing, 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 nothing. How do you compare with you? My assignment this afternoon is Jesus Christ, the true treasure, and a pearl of great price. Jesus Christ, the true treasure. An appeal of great price. I've woke up this afternoon and I was praying, Lord, what do you want me to talk about? And immediately before I went to bed, I was having a discussion with one of our sisters who are aspiring to make heaven. And in that discussion, it came to the point that she had a very precious jewel. <laughs> She asked me, Brother Gabriel, so do you want me to throw my gold away? I said, yes, darling. She said, no way. No way. I can't do that. <laughs> she has given up much. Left one thing. Left with one thing. One thing that I desire is to be in your presence. She said, no way, Brother Gabriel. Please don't bring that one in. <laughs> The journey has been gradual. Some people, when they hear the voice of God straight away, they strip of everything. Some also have taken it years to take it one by one. When our heart is so soaked, when our heart is so immune, when our heart is so, oh, so attached to things, it will be very difficult to follow Jesus Christ. So she said, Brother Gabriel, please don't bring this one. It's too hard. I didn't tell her to give up her husband. I didn't tell her to throw away her children. I didn't tell her to bring her money to me. I told her to throw away things that she had wasted her money on. Life, the past life, the past waste of life. That's what Jesus was telling her. It, literally, it's not me. <laughs> Some people come to me and say, Brother Gabriel, so do you mean that you say that? I said, no, darling, please don't bring, don't bring me in. Leave me out, yo. I am not part of it. I'm just telling you. <laughs> so I have slept and before I went to bed, I saw one of our sisters also. They are craving for heaven. She also called. But I said, no, this call I can't pick. I need to rest. <laughs> I have so many things to tell them, but I need to rest my body, my eyes a bit. So immediately I wake up, I switch on my phone, and that lady was the first person to call. I said, Daddy, what about the jewelry thing? So should we throw them away? I said, yes, my darling, we have to. She said, all right. Well, can I sell it? I said, you can't. There's no way you can sell it. If it's not good, why are you going to sell it to people? Can I return it to the seller? You are continuing to employ the seller. She's going to buy it very cheap and sell it to others. Why can't you reduce it? She said, all right, I am going to put, put all of them in a, in a, in a treasure or in some containers and I, 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 I break all of them together. When she said, as a Lord, I thank you. And the Lord said, go and talk to the people that I am the treasure that they are giving up the word for. Ah, oh, you didn't hear me. Jesus, I should tell you. He is the treasure that you are giving up. All this tangling, all this glittering, all this makeup, all this perfuming. He says he is the treasure. Can you turn your Bible with me to the book of Matthew? The chapter number 13, verse 44 to 46. Matthew chapter 13. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a treasure hidden in the field. That which when a man find, he hid. And for joy, therefore, goes and sell all that he has. Brother Gabriel, you tell me we shouldn't sell. You said that we shouldn't sell. He went and sold all that he has. Comes and buy the field. Comes and buy the field again. The kingdom of heaven. Being part of the heavenly citizen. 
being part of the ruling organization where Jesus alone is God. Where there is no competition in the lordship. Where there is no uh, competition in the ownership of your body. No competition of the ownership of your heart. No competition of the ownership of your mind. Nothing compete with that. That is what we call the kingdom of heaven. The government institution where Jesus alone is the owner. Where Jesus alone is the possessor. Where Jesus alone is the treasure of your life and your soul. That kingdom that shall never be wiped away. That kingdom that nobody can take it from your hands. That kingdom of peace. That kingdom of serenity. That kingdom of joy. That kingdom of happiness. That kingdom of wholeness. Complete. Nothing missing and nothing broken. That kingdom. Manderebos. Hey. That kingdom. It's like a merchant. It's like a merchant. Seeking godly pearls. Seeking godly pearls. Goodly pearls. Whom when he had found one pearl of a great price, after he has found one pearl, darling, are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? Went and sold all that he had. He went and traded. Do you know how to sell it? Don't give it back to the seller. Give it. Throw it away. Throw it away. Let it cost you. Let your person cost you. And there is a great reward awaiting for those who are willing. Those who treasure heaven above gold and silver. Now one day you die and leave them in the coffin. One day you die and leave them in your treasure box. One day you die and leave them in a safe. Everything that we are running after in this life, ladies and gentlemen, they last longer than us here. They last longer. The houses that we are building here, they are like sand castle. When you go to the seashore, begin to build, and in the evening you leave it and come home. You will sleep in the sand castle. People go to holidays, and they build certain things they design at the seashore. Live your life like that. Houston, Texas, in America. The Hurricane have taken the land, have taken their cars, have taken their houses, have taken their treasure. Don't you think that people have treasure over there? Some people were saying that we wouldn't leave this how we would die in them. The treasure in heaven is far above. The jewelries and the pearls in this life, they keep us away from pursuing the jewelries and the pearls in heaven. Kingdom of heaven is like that. And when the man found the priceless pearl, I am an elegant, I'm a very gentle man. If you meet me face to face, see that I'm gentle. So I love gentility. There is nothing that I will buy which I can't add gentility attached to that. So when I have not started teaching this, the jewelries, I didn't like them much, but the pearls, because they make a woman look very, very elegant. Not splash, uh, 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 shiny, uh, 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 no, 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 but looks very, very noble. So I'll go to this. Uh, I it was not buying even the expensive, but the, 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 the cheap ones. But when my wife put that pearls on her, on her neck, I feel like kissing her. I feel like doing everything, hugging as I love you, darling. My heart was in those pearls. But when the Lord said, Give your heart to me, Lord. Give your heart to me, Gabriel. I did not hesitate. I did not argue with God. What is God asking of you that you find it very difficult to give it up? What is my Savior asking of you this afternoon? Now, darling, you find it very difficult to give it up. If you treasure heaven above that place, if you treasure heaven above those things, it is so easy. It is so easy. If you assume, assume heaven to be precious than those things. Darling, sister, it is so easy. Go and give them up and come and follow me. Go and give them up. 
and come and follow me. Go and give them up. Come and be part of my kingdom. Is it very difficult? It's not difficult at all. If you know the value of what you are giving up this sinful thing for. Honey, I tell you. You will go and borrow and give them up again. You go and buy and give them up again. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't get it. If you know the value that you are contending for, you will go and purchase things and give them up to people. You will go and buy cars and give them up to people. You will go and buy houses. You have money, you don't know what to use your money for. If you know what you are contending for, you go and buy clothes and give them up to people who don't wear it, have anything to wear. You go and buy food and give it to people who don't have something to eat. You will go to prison and give what you are going to die and leave behind for moths and worms. For your family members to fight. For your witches and your wizard in your family to fight about them. If you know what you're contending for, hallelujah, my Jesus lacking the kingdom of heaven into finding the treasure hunters. A person who was hunting for a treasure, priceless treasure. And when a person found a costless treasure, Jesus is that costless treasure. He tells me to tell you, say, I am the treasure. Hatton Dallin search his song. They play that song. That you crucified and lay behind the soul. He lived to die. Rejected and alone like a rose. Trampled on the ground. It took the fall. It sold a feet. Above all, above all things. Above all kingdoms. Above all thrones. Above all treasure. Above all meaningful things. Jesus is above all. Like a rose. He was trampled on the ground. He gave up. He gave up. He gave up all these things. Came. And follow after you because you are a treasure. You are a treasure to Jesus. And Jesus is your treasure. He gave up heaven. He took a risk. That no man will be able to take. He bore your pains. He took away your shame. He took away your destiny. In his cost. At his cost. He put his life at risk. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand that the kingdom of heaven is not only the celestial paradise where Christians send go to be with their maker for eternity. But no, 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 there are, there are more things. There are more things waiting for you and me. Why? Because the word of God describes the word of God teaches us Uncomparable glory ahead. Uncomparable treasure above. What we are running after here, they fade. What we are running after here, they can go to decay. What you and me are esteem are so dear. They are temporal. Heavenly things are temporal. Heavenly things are temporal. Tempera for your soul. Tempera for your delight. Tempera for your enjoyment. I work in care homes, mental hospitals, general hospitals, and I meet different types of people. Rich, poor, when they get old, they have no desire of anything. When a man gets to certain level, Nothing, nothing interests him again. One thing that they find very important are their family members. Relatives, very close one. The husbands and the wife. If she is an old woman, all that she'll be asking, where is my husband? Where is my husband? We forget even our children. We forget our children. 
If he's an old man, where is my wife? Where is my wife? When he wakes up early in the morning, what he's talking is my wife. My wife. My wife. Do you treasure your husband to be somebody that is very, very important in your life? Some of us, we don't see that like that. When I go through this, people, I come home, I find very important that the most important person, human being in my life, is God. Jesus first. Jesus first. Because the day is coming. My wife that I love with all my heart. That I can't sleep on my bed without her. That I can't live two days without her. A day is coming I'm going to live without her. But there is one person that I can't avoid. His name is Jesus Christ. He is the darling of heaven. And there he is coming. I'm going to forget the name of my children. Sometimes these ladies, they come to their parents at a hospital. And then she is talking to mom. He is talking to mom. And mom is not in a position where she can even identify herself with. Take opportunity and go and visit elderly people who have grown up. And jewelries and all these things, makeups and eyeliner because of the wrinkles and all these things, they don't value these things any longer. I know some people still treasure them. Heaven is not only a place for the celestial angels and the saints, but heaven is a place where we'll explore so many good things. Heaven is a place, heaven is a place. Where we will find wholeness, where we will find peace, where we will find joy, where we will find real meaning to life. That is a place. There is a place that your soul is contending for. There is a place that your soul is desiring to be. We don't have people who have been in that place to describe or reveal that place to us. <laughs> hey, nothing, nothing in this world. Can be compared with the peace. Nothing in this world can be compared with the joy in heaven. Nothing in this world will be compared to the glory of heaven. Glory. I wonder. I am so amazed. I am so amazed that people will be taken to heaven and hell and they come back and they contend for worldly things. Oh my God, human beings are very, very wicked and sinful. I am so afraid that when people really have been taken to heaven and earth, and when they come, they fight with people. Your heart must reach a level that there is nothing in this world that can take you from God. There should be nothing in this world that you should contend and leave heaven. There should be nothing in this world. That should be so precious. That because of that you can't let it go. I've reached a level. I've reached a level. That I am not attached to any sin. Because I am attached to heaven. Be attached to heaven. Be attached to the glory in heaven. Oh my God. Jesus affirmed this. In most of the scriptures, there are many scriptures that tells us, Matthew chapter 6 verse 21, For where your treasure is, there is your heart. Keep your treasure in heaven. Keep your treasure in heaven. Don't keep them here. Where moths and worms fight with you. They will fight even with your body. Leave your body for three days on attention. Leave your body for one week on attention. You will see those people who are going to fight you. <laughs> if I haven't bowed for three days, I am sweating and I'm sweating that is level how my body is smelling. If I don't brush my teeth for one day, not only two, one day. If I close my mouth for one hour, two hours, three, four, five, six hours. I can't talk well face to face with people. I need to cover my mouth. Or put chewing gum in my mouth. Or brush my teeth again. If I go to bed and sleep for two hours, three hours. When I wake up. 
And if I didn't claim my tea before going, do you see how many people are fighting with this body? <laughs> Leave it on attention. Leave yourself on attention for two days. Oh, Brad Gabriel, I can leave it for one week. Oh, really? Eh, ah, for one week. You are blessed. Oh, me, I don't smell. Well done. One day, people are going to run away from you before you realize that you smell. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Every human being smells. The queen smells. The president smells. Uh, your pastor, now your bishop, now you see him as God, he smells. Ah, scent. Decay. They fight our body. Therefore, let us put our treasure. Let us put our... What is your treasure? Your soul. Keep your treasure. Your soul is your treasure. Let your soul delight in heavenly things. More than worldly things. Luke chapter 12 verse 34. Jesus said, For where your treasure is, there should be your heart. Where your treasure is, there must be your heart. Take your heart away from the earthly things. Remove your heart and let Jesus be your desire. Let him be the treasure of heaven that you pursue. Let him be the only treasure that you pursue. I don't know what you're pursuing in life. I don't know. You want to build a house? That's fine. You want to live a legacy? That's fine. You are pursuing academic? That's fine. But let your heart be in heaven. There is nothing wrong pursuing the earthly things. But there is much, there is much effect. Very, 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 very bad effect. If you lose your heart in pursuit of those things. And there is no way, there is no way that you can run after those things and your heart will not be attached to those things. Today the Lord has sent me to tell you that he is your treasure that you are running for. He is your treasure. Therefore, store up for yourself treasure in heaven where another moths, where another rust, where another decay, where another thieves break in and steal them. Jesus is that treasure. This afternoon, if he has never been that treasure, you value things more than his love. If he has never been your treasure, you value things more than him. You find it very difficult to give up things. You find it very difficult. Your deliverance will take place. You hear me talking about deliverance, deliverance. Your deliverance will take place the day that you lose value. The day that you lose interest in sin. The day that you'll be disconnected from this world. That is the day that your deliverance will take place. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gave that in fact. No, 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 no. I gave that is too hard. <laughs> that is too hard. You make it very difficult. Hey. It's not brother Gabriel, but that's how the Bible have said it. The standard of heaven. The standard of what we are competing for. Is higher. Costive. Valuable. Than every other thing. Than every other thing. I didn't know. I didn't know how it was. Until the day I said, Lord. I don't want my heart. To be shared with any other thing in this life. Tell God. Lord. I don't want to share my heart. With anything in this life. Lord. I don't want anything to share my heart with you. So I'm ready. To surrender. Every care. I'm ready. To surrender every treasure. I am ready to surrender every desire. I am ready to surrender every will. Take my hands now. Lead me closer. And show me how to love you. Teach me how to please you. Teach me how to walk in your ways. Teach me how to attract that glory. That is my hunger. That is my hunger. And one thing that I desire. That every day I will draw closer to him. And I say Lord teach me. Teach me, teach me how to be part of that kingdom. Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary, pure and holy, tried in truth. 
Tried and true. He a little bit Sunday. Tried and true. He a little bit of a sin and a door work. He baba so I'm a door one Maya. He little bit of a sin and a mock about a boss. Across the bridge. There will be no more sorrow. Across the bridge. When you cross the bridge of this life, when you cross the bridge of this anxiety, when you cross the bridge of this worldliness, there will be no sorrow anywhere. The Son, which is Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the glorious city, who is going to be your sunshine, His Son will shine. And across the bridge, we will never be sorrowful again. My dear brothers and sisters, what is holding you captive? What is holding you captive? Tell the captivity to lose you. Today I'm here just to tell you Jesus is the precious pearl. He is the jewelry. He is the glorious city that you are waiting for. A city of light. A city of gold. A city of mansions. Houses that have been built by angels, architects. Here in human beings, here on earth, people are building houses. They are building bridges. The river can overtake it at any time. Thieves. When Bible are talking about thieves, not only human thieves. Everything around us can take what we possess away from us. Sickness can take you away from your office. I know some people who have well qualification, but because of sickness, they can't sit on the seat. President, Nigeria president, he won it. But how many times can the man, or how many years has the man able to rule for the four years given to him? How many days has he been able to occupy the seat? You can win the position of this earth. But Santa, we overlook all these things. All that we are running after, we can have them. We can kill and have them. We can bribe and have them. We can manipulate and have them. But there are thieves. That can take them away from us. Do you think that you are the owner of your life? Do you think that your tomorrow belongs to you? Why don't you give your life to the person that can secure you? And stop running after all these things. People who have the qualifications. Always I consider myself that I love God. Because of the favor that is upon me. People are well qualified than me. People have the more knowledge than me. People can speak good English, write good English. They can form sentences. They can do well better than me. So every opportunity that I have, I consider it as divine favor. They have everything perfect than me, but they are not alive yet. <laughs> they are dead. They are gone, yet the influence of their dead body is still working. Somebody is afraid to touch anything that belongs to that person. Oh, Alpha, no, 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 I can't touch this person. I can't even mount up with that glory. Do you know where that person is? He might be in hellfire. Your human being have rose. They have elevated. They have exalted that person beyond every human being. What are you competing for? Consider life as a treasure. Consider a second of your life as a treasure. And give your life to God wholeheartedly. And let the treasure of heaven possess you. Don't let what let him possess you. Don't let what let him possess you. Let heaven possess you. People find it very difficult. I have relatives who don't want to talk to me because of what I stand for. I have friends. I have old friends that they can't relate to me because of what I stand for. But I will not give up this treasure because what I have seen in my eyes, what I'm hearing in my ears, where my feet, the sole of my feet, not my body, but the sole of my feet had traveled around. I know 
And I know that this book is the only book. It's the only book. I know. I've come to the realization. I don't need any arguments. Gabriel, can we argue? People come up, Gabriel, can we argue? Argue for what? <laughs> we don't argue about knowledge. Mm -mm. Where we don't have knowledge, we argue about it. But where you are certain, where you are firm, where you are fully convinced, <coughs> where you are persuaded, and I've come to the realization that indeed, this is it. Nobody can take you out. Let nobody take you out of this pursuit. There is a rich ruler that came to Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 19. And he came to Jesus Christ and Jesus, he said, Jesus, I have all the earthly treasure. I have everything in this world. I have everything in this world, but one thing I'm competing for is your kingdom. How can I have it? Jesus said, if you wish to be complete, if you wish to be part of my kingdom, I paraphrase it. If you wish to possess me, leave what I possess you. Leave it what is possessing you. Leave it and let me possess you. Mm. Heaven is a possession. Who possesses you? Jewelry is possessing you, darling. You find it very difficult to let it go. Alcohol is possessing you. You find it very difficult to let it go. I've started a series that I'm, 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 you can live without sin. Go and listen to that series. It will help you. I've picked so many topics and I've moved them along. I'll, I'll take this one here. I'll take this one there. I have a purpose. Don't allow anything to possess you if you want to possess heaven. That was the lesson that Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 19. The man said, how can I be part of your kingdom? Jesus said, go and fulfill the law. He said, which one of them? Love your neighbor as yourself. Love the Lord your God. Love here means let him possess you. Possess God and let God possess you. Possess God, be possessive. It's not obsession, but possession. Don't be obsessed. Don't allow this world to obsess you, but allow heaven to possess you. Hallelujah. Go and give to the poor. The man said that is very hard. Go. He said, I've done all these things. I've given. Jesus said there is one thing that is left. Go and sell. Go and give them up. Whenever the Bible says that go, go and give up, he says sell. So selling in Bible literally doesn't mean because Bible doesn't deal with buying and selling. <laughs> it's freely given, freely given out. Your Lord that has been credited unto you was given to you for a purpose. You need to go and sell those things. And come and follow me. Go and give them up. Give to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Give it up and you have treasure. Sometimes we think that selling. Oh, pastors. Pastors who are claiming and converting and converting and converting. I don't know where they are they taking this money to. I don't know. Because they have made a contract with the spirit of money. Come and sow seed. Can I put money in an envelope? Where are they taking this money to? Where? Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I am I am surprised. Sometimes I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Because little with God is a treasure. Little with God is a treasure. March chapter 10, verse 21. Looking at him, Jesus fell in love for him and said to him, one thing that you lack, one thing that you need to do, one thing that is left for you to do, go and give up your possession and come and possess me. Give it up. Throw them away. Throw them away. Because of the value in Christ, giving up sin shouldn't be something that we should struggle with at all. Because of the value in Christ, Selling our possession and giving them to charity. Selling our possession and giving them to people that need them. Shouldn't be something that we fail to do at all. Sell your possession and give them to charity. Make yourselves money belts who do not wear out. 
an unfailing treasure in heaven where no thief comes near nor moth destroy. In Luke chapter number 12, verse 33. Jesus was sending the disciples. He said, I'm sending you. I'm sending you as heavenly citizen into the worldly people who are competing for worldly things. I am selling you to go out into this world. Sell what you have and give it to the poor. Pastor, sell what you have and give it to the poor. Give it to those who need them. They might not use it the way you want them to use it, but when you give it up, let it be. Don't let your heart be attached. Attachment is a dangerous thing. Attachment is wickedness. Attachment is sinful and it is evil. Attachment to the worldly lust. Attachment to worldly beauty. Attachment to the worldly treasure. Attachment to anything filthy is dangerous. Obsession is evil. Possessing God. Possessing the treasure of heaven. He is your jewelry that you need to put on today. That people will see the glory of God. The radiance of God reflecting in your life. I am here to tell you that Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that he has laid a treasure for you that you have no idea of. I know, I know that he is building houses, not one house. He is building mansion for Gabriel. In the time I sit on this seat and I minister the word of truth to you, I know, I know. And that is why I don't want to reduce the standard. That you will lose the mark. I want to put the standard as it is. People come to me and they think that Gabriel. What do you think? I said not what I think. Ask me what does God think. When they come to me ask me what God thinks. And I believe that's what normally they come to ask. So I don't tell them what I think. To be honest with you. In humanity thinking sometimes. When I'm giving counseling to people. My heart is bumping like this. <laughs> Gabriel. It's too hard. Can you do it yourself? Telling people to go and do this. Can you do it yourself? Yes. I have to do. I need to practice. If not, when I tell you, you can't do it. I can't give what I don't have. I can't tell you to do what I am not doing. So sometimes people come to me and ask me questions. I sit back and say, Lord... What do you think? <laughs> he said, tell them what I've told you about that. What has he told me about that? What has the Lord told me? In Luke chapter 16 verse 11. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the use of the righteous word. If you are not faithful with the use of unrighteous things. If you are not faithful. If you are not faithful. Who will entrust the true riches to you? Unfaithful. Look. Chapter 16. Are you faithful with the thing that God has given to you? You are so stingy. Your money you use it to buy unnecessary. When your heart doesn't belong to God. Everything that you use your money for is foolishness. Am I speaking the truth? Let me say it again. If your heart doesn't belong to God. Everything that you use your money for is foolishness. If your life doesn't belong to Jesus. Everything that you use this life to do is dirty things. Mmm. You don't know. Turkey thing, yum. Hamburger, meow. Uh, McDonald, meow. Fried chicken, meow. No prayer, no nothing. <laughs> you just chew it. Halal meat, meow. Intestines, meow. Fornication, but Masturbation, ooh. The devil is a liar. Jewelry is beautiful. Spray, mmm. If your life has not found the purpose and the treasure of this life, you treasure wasteful things. You treasure wasteful things. You give your life to wasteless things. Don't waste your life here. Don't waste your life here. We said yes. This song is going to be played for so many people. In their dead barrier, at the barrier, at the barrier of their dead body, a song that should be sung is wasted years, wasted years. Oh, how foolish. That song should be played at the rich man's funeral. 
had a uh, fornicators, uh, polygamous houses. This song must be uh, must be sung. Wasted years, wasted resources, wasted values, wasted treasure, wasted ability, wasted gifts. Are you not wasting your life like that? The day that you die, what songs are angels going to sing? My darling sister, my brother, the day that you die, what song is it going to be prayed? What song is it going to be played? Whatever prayer is your holy priest, the Lord has given, the Lord has taken. Let the glory be of the Lord who have taken. The Lord that God gave it to you, did you give it back? Did you invest your life? Did you invest your time? Did you invest your treasure? Did you invest your treasure in heaven? And were you righteous in this unrighteous world? Did you remain righteous? Did you not allow the worldly thing to destroy your soul? Did you remain righteous? Did you use those things of this world but never allow those things to use you? Mm. My darling sister, did you use those things by not allowing those things to use you? I was talking to one of my darlings this morning and she said, Brother Gabriel, you know what? In those days, when people are throwing party." They have to invite me. And when I am going, hey, hey, Sister Lydia is coming. Sister Linda is coming. Sister Jennifer is coming. Hey, missus, come see me. Hey, you see me, you see me. Oh. When I appear, everybody knows that somebody have come. More than taxi. <laughs> Colors. High heels. Jewelries. And I tell her, darling, can you disallow those things to possess you? But Gabriel is hard. I know, darling. Can you let it go and come and possess heaven? One thing that I desire, that I may dwell in the presence of the Lord. But be careful that you don't allow the wedlet thing to possess your soul. That's what I'm trying to say. If you are unfaithful to God, after he has given you this unrighteous world. If you are unfaithful to God. Not to present yourself holy. And acceptable unto him. After you have lived your life in this world. If you can. Bring yourself back to him. And say this is what you gave me. I have given it back to you. Everything I have is yours. My body is yours. My life is yours. My time is yours. My mind is yours. If you are unfaithful to God. By using this unfaithful world to acquire faithful heaven, do you think that you can get heaven for your soul? Do you think you can have heaven for your soul? Are you sure that you are contending for a place? Are you sure that you are contending for that place? That place of joy, that place of peace, that place of harmony, that place that you are not afraid of anything. A friend of mine was taken to heaven. And he was brought up in his house. And when he was caught up with the things over there. He said that he was feeling reluctant to step there. He had just newly become born again believer. And the Lord. He was praying and seeking the face of God. He was fasting. I was pulling him. Come, come and let us pray together. I am very, 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 very. Uh, 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 what is it? Aggressive. When I see that some people have something, what I'm pursuing for. When I see that people have the desire to make heaven, I want them to be closer to me. I want them to be near. Come, come. I put this brother up where he never came. One of the revelation, the Lord took him to heaven. And he wanted to urinate. He went into his bathroom. The tiles were gold. The toilet seat was gold. Hey! Gold! And when you see gold, you see it. You know that this is gold. People would have deceived me to sell me things that were in gold before. <laughs> yes, but this time, your soul knows that this is the real gold. 
He felt reluctant to urinate. He was pressed, but he felt reluctant. How can I wee in this in this thing? Because the drops, you know, men, when we wee, we stand up. <laughs> so some drops, will, 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 stains will, will, will remain there. So he felt reluctant. And he thought in his mind, he thought in his mind, if Nigeria, for one nine people, if they get here, they will remove everything and go and sell it. Uh -uh. If Ghana, Kumasi can get here, thieves, if they enter into this place, wow. They will take everything. Now we have four one nine pastors. Four one nine pastors all over. Four one nine thieves and arm robbers. Do you think that this pastor can make heaven? No way. Where? Which heaven are they taking you to? Which heaven? The thieves and arm robbers. They won't go there. Liars will not go there. Prostitutes will not go there. A prostitute is a person who is living with a man, a woman who has not married him or her. You're a prostitute. They won't get to that place. Prostitutes are people who are selling, using the word of God for their own gain. Liars and thieves and arm robbers are using Bible to acquire worldly possession. Taking advantage of the weak and the poor and the feeble among us. I am calling you into the assembly. I am calling you to the awareness. The time is coming. That the place for these thieves will never be found. Place for these arm robbers will never be found. Place for these liars will never be found. Be careful that you don't allow yourself to be taken along with these people. Because they are not for your well-being. They are not for your good. They are not for your interests. If somebody tells you there is no heaven, if somebody tells you there is no hell, if that person, if you have opportunity, take a stone and strike the person's head. Sebra <laughs> Gabriel said I should do that. Because you are my devil. You are my enemy. If somebody tells you that there is no Jesus, if you can kill, kill that person. <laughs> because he's your greatest enemy. <laughs> That you need to destroy out of your life. Run away! Run away from that person. Don't spend a second. Don't spend a second. Listen to those people who are telling you there is no heaven. Listen to those people who are telling you there is no Jesus. Watching them. Ah! Spending time with evil. And don't you think that you are going to be contaminated? One single word. One single negativity. Towards your soul. Who handicap you. And that is why the Lord said, Gabriel, when you stand, speak the truth. There are so many people who are talking about many things. Don't talk about them. You don't need to. Leave them to tell about what they are, but tell the truth. And there are people who want the truth, they will come to you. They will run after you, but they will come after you. They will run away. By the time will come, they will run after you. They will. Live your life for me. Live a pure life. Live a holy life. Live a transparent life. And let people know that there is somebody like that on earth today. I challenge you. I want my Lord to be a challenge to myself. I want to live a challenging life. It costs me nothing. Although it costs me to be very sincere and faithful. To be happy with what I have. To be content with what I know and what I have. And to live with that. Because contentment with few is better than multitude with grief. Contentment with little. Peace with little. It's better. It's better. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 18. Instruct them to do good. To be rich in good works. To be generous and ready to share. That's what the Lord told me. That's why I'm here. Gabriel, go and instruct them. Tell them to live a good life. Tell them to separate themselves from this world. Tell them. Let them use their money to win souls. Let them use their money to buy Bibles. Let them use their money to educate people about heaven and hell. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them, where are they? Where are they? There are few. We are not many. We are not many. But I want to be one of them. I want to be among the minutest people on earth who want to live for God. James chapter 2 verse 5. Listen my beloved brethren. Didn't God choose the poor of this world. To be rich in faith. And heirs of the kingdom. Which he promised to those who love him. He had chosen us. He had chosen us. I might not be your. Your sugar in your tea. 
I'm gonna be your salt in your soup. I'm gonna be your butter in your bread. But let me be, let me be the hand that touch those things and put them in. I can't be because Jesus is supposed to be. I am the hand that is helping you to take those things and put them in your tea and drink. So I want to tell you, come and search for this Jesus Christ. I'm not telling you anything. One of my sisters, she doesn't want to talk to me. Why? <laughs> because I told her not to run after vanity of this life. She doesn't want to talk to me. Don't bring these things here. Blessed are those who are not offended because of this holiness teachings. Blessed are you if you are not offended. Tomorrow you will cry. Why Gabriel didn't slap me? That's why I say if you have somebody around, slap that dirty thing out of his mouth. There are so many people when they come, I don't want to contend. I leave them. Okay, goodbye. So this, this little girl, I don't believe. Pastor, I don't believe that if God want to God, God, God want to talk to us, He will raise people from the dead. What about the living? It's a young girl. I say, well, darling, your unbelief doesn't have a space in my life. Go away. Your unbelief hasn't got a room. Don't hesitate, unbelievers around you. Don't hesitate, unbelievers. I don't give time. No way. No more, brother. You need to have time for them. How long? When they go and learn their lesson, let them come back. The door is open for people to leave you. Open the door for people to leave and come in. My door is 24-7 open. I don't close the door. I have closed the door behind me that I'm not going back there. And I've given the key to Jesus Christ. That even if I go near, he should strike me with headache. If I go near masturbation, if I go near prostitution, if I go near lying, stealing, he should strike me. With headache. Not with stroke, but with headache. Something I can repent. ASP. Listen to my brothers and sisters. Do not give your life to things that have no eternal reward for you. Give your heart to the treasure of heaven. James chapter 2 verse 5. James chapter 2 verse 5. My beloved brethren, didn't God choose the poor of this world to be rich in faith? And heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him. If you want to be rich in heaven, you must present yourself as a poor person. If you want to be rich in heaven, you must look as a poor person. Let us be poor in this world. Let people think that we don't have anything. That is why we dress the way we dress. Yes. We don't have anything that we are, how we are preaching like that. When you come to my house, you see cars in front of my house. They are all mine. Cars, no one car. I'm not competing for car. I have a house. I'm not competing for house. When I go to my hometown, I don't sleep outside. <laughs> my uncle built one. Is there nobody's living? My auntie built one. I built one for my mommy. When I go home, I won't sleep outside. So the Lord says, Gabriel, what is left behind? The money that you have now, use that money to serve me. Is it very difficult to use my money to promote the gospel? Preachers and people who are serving God and going through problems. People who are going through struggling. The Lord touched my heart and said, go, go and do this. It's not easy. It's not easy when I'm running to and flow and I can't enjoy them. The Lord said, fast. When you come to my kitchen, oh, it's full. <laughs> Recently, I get an offer of uh, uh, charity people that they are giving food for free. Food for free. I go there and carry them, put them in the car, and I drive to people who need them. I don't bring them home. My wife said, I don't need them at home. I don't need them. Even the one that I went and purchased, you don't eat them. Don't bring anything here. So I run around. I'm supposed to do uh, 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 teachings. And I put the food in my car, and I send to people. If you need one, tell me. If you're living in my area, and you can't afford to eat, let me know. I'll bring you food. If you are living in Leicester area, not, not in London, <laughs> somebody who says, I'm living in the end, send me some. Run to Leicester. You can eat for free. <laughs> you can eat for free. I believe the church must be that. Distributing center. The sister who is in charge of it, she called me, Pastor, I got clothes. Pastor, I got this thing. Do you have people to give them to? I said, I don't have them. I don't have them. He have not called us 
to labor in vain. I know and I know. If we stand for the truth, if you stand for the truth, the Lord will reward us. Don't let, uh, oh, I don't want to say anything more. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 20 says, Consider the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasure of Egypt. Consider. Moses, he considered to be shameful. Moses considered to suffer with the children of Israel than to be the prince of Egypt. For he was looking for a reward in heaven. Moses was looking for a reward in the heaven. Abraham was looking for a reward in heaven. Therefore, when God told him to leave, he left. Lot was looking for a reward in the hands of God. So when the Lord said, leave this city, he left. Some of you, you are finding it very difficult to leave. Some of you, you find it very difficult to leave. But Proverbs chapter 15, verse 6, 16. Proverbs 15, 16. Better is little with righteousness. Better is little with the righteous people. Better is little in righteous days than having abundant, than having abundant in injustice. Better. Better having something that God is at peace with you. The heaven overflow, and yet you can't sleep, yet you can't sit down and think. Better, better with a poor man, living with a husband who is poor, who cannot afford your daily bread, than living with a rich man that possesses the earth, but he's bringing your soul to hellfire. Better, better, better. Matter, sister, better, better with a young man, better with a sister, brother, better with that condition to serve God in poverty, to serve God in need, where Jesus become your dependent. Now, every day when you wake up in the morning, say, Lord, if you don't show up, I am dead. Lord, if you don't show up, I'm gone. Lord, if you don't show up. I am destroyed. When you take your eyes away from me, I am destroyed. Better is little with righteousness than great income with injustice. Better with little income with peace of God than having embassy, than stealing, than robbing the church, robbing people. Better, better. German have one alcohol. And I think the name of the alcohol was trucking wine or trucking beer. Trucking means dry. And the advert goes like, it's better to celebrate with dry wine than to celebrate dry. Celebrate without anything. That's how they put it. They put it in that way. Forgotten the phrase a bit. But that is why Proverbs chapter 16, King Solomon said, it's better to have righteous life here on earth it's better to be clean inside and outside, body and everything. It's better to throw away those things that possess you before you can possess God. Anything that possess you takes you away from God. And if you are not willing to let heaven to possess you, you will live and the earth will possess you. In conclusion, Jesus is the treasure that you are looking for. He must be the treasure for you today and until he can be a treasure for you tomorrow. When he becomes your treasure, anything that he tells you to stop, you don't struggle. So is a man who saw up treasure in heaven. And is not rich towards God. You are storing up. Luke chapter 12 verse 21. You are storing up treasure for yourself. But you are not rich towards heaven. Brother Gabriel, what do you mean I am not rich towards heaven? Heaven is not your zeal. You are not ready to do anything. When you hear heaven. You stop everything that you are doing. Heaven. Where is he? Give up. And saw treasure for your soul in heaven. Say, Jesus Christ, I want you to possess my heart. Lord, I want you to possess my mind. I want you to possess my soul. I freely want to surrender my will to you. If you can use my body to glorify yourself. If you can use my mind to reveal your glory. If you can use my body to shame unrighteous people. Father, use me for your glory. My life belongs to you. My heart belongs to you. My money belongs to you. Everything that you have given to me, I give it back for your glory. Have your way, O oh God. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me from every unrighteous act. Dethrone me from every throne of this earth. And put my heart at peace as I walk towards your will. 
Let me know you more. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. Father, I've told your children what they need to know. Lord, as they come to you, I pray that you reveal yourself to them. Grant them dreams and visions in heaven. And let them detach. Let them detach themselves from anything that have attached them. Set their soul at liberty. Set their soul free, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Open their eyes to see the treasure that you have for them in heaven. That running after the things in this world, possessing things of this world, will cause them to lose treasure in heaven. I cried out, oh God, as they crave, open their eyes, give them divine understanding, grant them divine knowledge, and give them the power and the will to follow your counsel. Thank you because you love your children. In Jesus' name, amen. Beloved, if you have prayed this prayer, I continue to encourage you to stick with me, I beg you. Because I have something that will prepare you for heaven. I have Jesus. I have the word of God, undiluted, unpolluted word of God. That will help you to make heaven. Continue to listen and watch my videos on YouTube, on WhatsApp. Continue to listen to them whenever you see them. I beg you, share it with your friends. Share it with them. Share. Share my videos. Feel free and share them. From WhatsApp, from YouTube, anywhere. Any material that you see around my social network is for free. Remove them and put your name there if you want. If your conscience is not judging you. And let us spread the gospel. Above all, let us use the little money and the little time that we have to win souls. Instead of building houses and treasure for this word for our soul. Because where the treasure is, there is where our heart will be. So, Brother Gabriel, what do you mean? Should I not do anything? Well, if you have enough time and enough money to do that and to save some in heaven for your soul, you want to make heaven. Yes, you will make heaven. If you confess your sin and invite Jesus as your Lord, yes, you will make heaven. But be careful that you don't go into heaven and sleep outside. That would be very sad. <laughs> okay, that my time is up. God bless you, all of you who watch me, sister. Gifty, I love you, my dear. I'm very happy that you've been constantly, and I believe that I've been some great impacts in this. Brother, boom. God bless you, sir. God bless you, minister. I love you. God bless you. God bless all of you, sisters, who have been watching and commenting. But one thing that I'm very glad at that you have chosen to use these materials to prepare. If you listen to these things and you don't change. If you listen to these teachings, Sister L L Lena, Lena, if you listen to these teachings and you don't change, I don't know what can bring a change. I don't know. Because I know that this platform is only changing life and winning souls for God. God bless you. Until we meet again, Father, I thank you for this great opportunity given to me. To lead my brothers and sisters, to motivate and to encourage them and draw you and draw them closer to you. I thank you, O God. Let the glory upon this being impart the life of individual. Father, bring them into your divine closer place that their life will not be wasted. Let them not live for the wasteful thing in this life. Let their hearts be saturated. Let their mind be focused on you. That when you come, they will never be uh, 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 rejected. Thank you, Lord. Put them in your power. Soak them in your love. Let them be saturated in your wisdom. Let your heart be generous towards good things. In Jesus' name I pray. I pray for my brothers, oh God. Soak them in this truth. Give them the incentive. Give them the understanding. Grant them the strength to follow your will. Yes, they can. If they want to. In Jesus' name. Amen.